Uh, Georgia's governor and the first lady have a message for Georgians for the Labor Day holiday weekend. Do not let your guard down. Governor Kim shared his message yesterday morning before getting on a plane to tour the state. Kim says he is once again asking Georgians to do four things. Wear your mask, practice social distancing, wash your hands often and follow his executive orders. The governor pointing to Memorial Day weekend and the 4th of July as two examples of when Georgia saw a surge in COVID cases and hospitalizations. He says we must remain safe and vigilant. People forget that we are battling an invisible enemy and unfortunately some let their guard down during these times. But we have come too far and sacrificed too much to turn back now. Governor Kemp has been criticized for not issuing a mask mandate. He says we don't need a government mandate to do the right thing. Health officials are echoing the sentiment to not let your guard down for the holiday weekend. The big concerns, crowds at parties and beaches, an alarming new report predicting the deaths from COVID in our country could more than double by January. Here's Carrie Sanders to break down that report. In Southern California, fears a Labor Day weekend heat wave predicted to hit 107 degrees may drive massive crowds to the beach. This weekend, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in the water probably 90% of the time. <laughs> it's the only way to stay cool. The numbers have gone down drastically and it, we're not worried by it at all. But experts fear complacency. Without vigilant mask wearing, a dire new report predicts 410,000 Americans could die from COVID by the end of the year. That's more than double the current death rate. We have a big test coming for this Labor Day weekend. A test health officials say some are already failing. Overnight near the University of South Carolina, police closing down a packed bar. During the July 4th long weekend in much of the country, Americans drop their guard at beaches, lakes, swimming pools, and beyond. Two weeks after Independence Day, coronavirus cases increased dramatically nationwide. 50% in California, 67% in Texas, 78% in Florida. On Miami Beach, where a busy weekend is expected, $50 fines for those violating COVID rules. It could be hard, but it's what's best, honestly. Increasingly, an understanding. Prevention only works if everyone plays by the rules. Now let's take a look at COVID-19 cases in our state as the holiday weekend ramps up. The downward trend in new COVID cases seems to have stalled. The Department of Public Health reported nearly 2,100 new positive test results just yesterday. That is significantly higher than the number we reported on Memorial Day, the weekend seen as the start to the summer surge. On that day, DPH reported only 500 cases. Now, sadly, the number of people dying with the virus also high and holding steady. DPH reported 63 more deaths on Friday. Now, also remember these are reported as DPH is able to verify the information. So many of these people actually died weeks ago.